M0FXP, welcome back to the channel. Did you know that most older radios can be quite easily connected to an SDR program like the one we've got here in the background? So you can see the Yaesu 817. This is HD SDR and I'm using this dongle here, RTL SDR version 4, but there are many to connect to my Yaesu and this program via my Windows 11 PC to fully control the radio and enjoy this full screen waterfall experience. Let me just quickly show you the frequency changing on the radio. So I get it up nice and big. The box on top, which I will tell you about, is called an SDR switch. It's basically an antenna switcher that enables me to also PTT and transmit without damaging the SDR dongle. And they're only about £30. So let's just watch the frequency change. We're just going to scroll some frequencies here and then watch on the 818 it is. Look at it change and we can go right down. Let's go to, let's get right down to HF. Just scrolling, you'll see in the radio change. There you are. And we're now on HF. Just need to lower it a bit more. There you go, LSB. Okay, look, we can change the modes as well. See the modes changing? LSB. And the, vo the volume, let's do that, you can hear that. Because we're changing the volume and all the settings that need to be changed using the signal that, it's, that the dongle, the RTO is getting from, and I will show you the, S the SDR out that is on the box, the DV switch. This is the front of the box, but we don't really change much there, apart from there is a green LED and a red LED that you can see in the, on the right. Now on the back of the box, we've got our, a bit like an SWR meter. We have a, a connector, an SO239 that's marked antenna. So you put your antenna there. And then on the left, we have the, the word radio just underneath here, and that's a patch lead to the radio. Now this little connector, the SDR, that's what's connecting my dongle that you can see and that's connected to my PC and then you power it with 13.8 volt DC but you could easily get a small battery I think to attach to this but anyway that's what's um what's powering it at the moment Now you will have to buy yourself an RTL dongle but in the box you get a power lead you get this small lead here on the left like a TRS type 3.5 jack that's to do with grounding the PTT and then you get the SMA to SMA for the for the dongle. Now OmniRig is a, a very common program for controlling or cat controlling many many radios and you can download that at this link here and you'll see it says OmniRig client here and there's actually two that you download and I'll show you what they look like and I'll put the links in the description. They're actually quite small programs when they're running but they, 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 car they carry quite a punch. So that when you first open OmniRig you see this okay and it's got rig one and two because you can add more than one rig, you see. But on rig one, we've got 817 connected. We've got the COM port there, COM17. That's because when I go right click device manager and the, the lead is plugged into the eight pin connector on the back of the Yesu. Just go like so. And there it is there, COM17. I'll show you what it looks like on the back of the Yesu. I'm just going to show you the, the client, the OmniRig client. This is what they call the client. So it's doing, it's telling you what's happening really. And if you open this first, you can open this window quite easily just by clicking open dialog. And so you'll see there it's rig type 817. So that's all set up and running. You just leave that in the background. On the back of the Yesu, if you look here, we're connected to the ACC port. This tends to do the cat control. The data port tends to do the audio and the data. So we're in the, the 8 pin, not the six pin on the left so that's where we're plugged in and then your antenna in the normal way and now i have made some videos installing omnirig so um i'll link them in the description so the setup for omnirig is just to click options here on the left options and then go across until you see cat radio to omnirig because you can make the hd sdr software 
connect directly to the dongle, but we want to go via OmniRig so then we can change the frequency on the rig because HDSDR can't change the frequency. It needs some help. So if you go up here, look, sync rig number one, as you saw earlier, 817 online. So we're connected to it now. And I, I mean, OmniRig is going to control the radio regardless of this program anyway, because it's connected to it. So that's why we can change the frequency. And there it goes there. We can even select memory channels. If I go to memory, you'll see the it starts to change to some of my memories. See that there? I'm not sure how, how, how active it is today, but you can see that even if I turn the small VFO, the frequencies are moving. I wish it was a bit busier today. Uh, you can click on the frequencies. There you go. Turn it up. And there's settings to learn on this anyway. It's a shame because uh, it's been like this all day. So the switcher box that you can see on top, it's doing its thing. If I key the mic, it's making sure that um, there's no RF going into the SDR dongle and, and breaking it. So hopefully I've missed anything. To download HD SDR, I'll put that link in as well. And, and I'll put in the video setting that up because there is some learning to do. You do need to get yourself a CT62 lead. That's the eight pin one coming from the Yaesu. You need a dongle. The box, I'll put a link in for that as well. That's only £30. I think that's a bargain. because This setup will pretty much work on any radio that's ever been invented. As long as it's got an RF out, it's gonna, it works on it. Now, it's no, nowhere near as good as tapping into the IF, which is the best way to tap into the radio. You're going to get a much better result. But this is still great fun. Let's see. I just love the fact that I've got this tiny little Yesu and I can just change the frequency, I can go up and down the bands. You can see me doing it. I just love that. You know, people always want a big screen, don't they? Yeah, we can have broadcast radio as well. I get my local repeater. I'll wait till it livens up and I'll make another video. Oh, there's something there. I'm not sure what that is. 144. That's a funny frequency. Uh, 145709. That could be BC, actually. No. Uh, I don't know what it is. There's someone there. Someone there on my back on my node. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.